Welcome to a tutorial on Twine. In this video, I'm going to review using HTML as part of Harlow 3.3. So we've seen as part of many different videos that Harlow provides lots of different functionality to us. We can create text that has emphasis, stronger emphasis, strike through, and all number of things based on the toolbar it provides as part of a story format. However, there might be some cases where we want to draw in existing knowledge of web technologies like HTML, CSS, and other things. Especially as it comes to HTML, we can combine that with the existing symbols that we use within Harlow that are then all translated into HTML. So for example, when we see this sentence up here, we notice it has emphasis, strong there emphasis, and strike through, using the special symbols that are provided by Harlow that allows us to create those effects. We can also, though, just simply use the HTML that is the corresponding effect within that language. And remember, of course, that Harlow is translating as a story format the symbols we provide into HTML as the end result anyway for it to be playable within a web browser. So let's go ahead and start the story from here, and then I'll show a slightly different example. So if we go ahead and build and play from example one, notice we see same visual effects appear, emphasis, stronger emphasis, strike through, and then we see the exact same thing, emphasis, stronger emphasis, and strike through. Now, if you EOI'd when I was talking initially, you may have noticed I mixed the two together, and we can do that if we want. As we're moving through these, if we want, we can use what Harlow provides to us if we find it easier, or if we have knowledge of HTML, we can mix that in and use both at the same time. So coming back over to example one, you may have noticed I used a bulleted list right here combined with HTML around what I wanted to create. So if you find it easier to use what Harlow provides, for example, coming over here in the toolbar and using any of these options, that's perfectly fine. If you have a little more advanced knowledge or you've worked with HTML4, you can also, also mix that into a passage. So let's look at a slightly different example. So if I had knowledge of both HTML and CSS cascading style sheets, I can combine that knowledge together. And I can use it along with everything else we've seen as part of an introduction to Harlow 3.3. In most cases, as this sentence says, Harlow provides far easier ways to do many things. For example, the toolbar very easily, very easily allows us to select text and apply styles, and we can change colors and do all kinds of things that are often slightly more complicated in HTML, and in some cases, much more complicated in HTML. So in most cases, using the Harlow method of using special symbols or using special macros, it's far easier than it would be using the other base web technologies on which it is based. But in some cases, we can mix those if we have knowledge of HTML or CSS, or as we'll talk about in a much future video, JavaScript as well, we can combine all of that with the functionality provided to us in a Harlow 3.3, using HTML or not as needed within the stories we create. Thanks for watching.